morning, good morning. Uh, man, winning is winning is fun. I love winning. Uh, you know, sitting at 81 feels good. Um, but, you know, obviously a lot more work to be done. I would say we still haven't put a fully complete game together yet. But that's the encouraging part about it. Right? You look at it week in and week out. This team just continues to fight and find ways to win football games in, in a lot of different ways, quite honestly. And guys are stepping up when we need them to. You know, players stepping up to really make plays when they matter the most. Uh, and so from there, going to feel good, really good to get back home, back at U.S. Bank Stadium. Uh, you know, really tough, good opponent coming to play uh, with the Dallas Cowboys. Looking forward to it. You know, the afternoon slot right there, 325, you know, America's game of the week. Uh, excited for it, looking forward to it. Uh, you know, players are, you know, biting at the bit to get at this one right here uh, just because it's our next opponent. And, you know, that's the exciting part about it. Uh, just kind of recap of Buffalo. Overall, you know, it was a, it was a slugfest as you look at it, at least from a special team standpoint. Went up against a really, really good unit. Uh, you know, good, 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 good to see uh, get, getting Kane going. Uh, you know, that kind of is like, you know, from an offensive defensive standpoint where they start to come in bunches. I think guys are really starting to figure out the schematics and, you know, the blocking techniques and fundamentals that we've been installing since OTAs and into training camp. And Kanae is starting to trust and to truly see the vision of it. And so as these weeks start to build out, I think you start to see a lot more explosive returns coming from Kanae. And now we really got to just kind of lock in and focus on how we can get Jalen Rager going uh, from a pressure return standpoint. I think we've been slacking kind of in that area of our game. And so, you know, that kind of falls on me of kind of understanding when we need to rush into in those pressure situations versus where we need to consider, uh, you know, offense might not be moving the football and where we might need a little bit of a momentous type swing where we need that big return, where we need that explosive return. And so that kind of falls on me as a play caller, kind of figuring out, picking and choosing those spots and where I see it, where I see it fit. Um, but overall, you know, excited to get ready to look at uh, Dallas. Taking Kinnaid just a little bit to kind of get in the flow. Do you think? Uh, I think I think the biggest thing is is kind of trusting and understand where we're actually trying to set the ball. So where we're trying to set it versus where we're trying to hit it. And so sometimes it can get a little cloudy. Uh, and I got to do a better job too of understanding the idea. And sometimes it, it can be a little bit complex in what we're attempting to do. And you know, it kind of falls on me just simplifying the actual schematics of it all. And, and, and you saw the, a little bit of a true simple approach what we had in Buffalo, which allowed us kind of to strike a little bit of gold there. And so, you know, honestly, it's just on me. Hey, uh, Matt, what's going on with uh, Greg Joseph and the missed extra points? He's got four now. Yeah, so, you know, the thing with G-Money is, is we just kind of got to figure out, I think the biggest thing for him is just, again, treating it all the same. But what we're starting to see now is, is just him really focusing on following through, swinging all the way up and through the football. He kind of has a tendency to where you see a kicker, like once a kicker swings and fully goes through a full set of motion, he gets his hips through, and you always see a kicker kind of like take their arm up and through the post. And so what times is, what happens at times is, is G goes, he kicks it, and he kind of allows his follow through arm to kind of not all the way go through. And if you look at all of his misses, every single one of them, that arm isn't following up and through the post. And so that's something we've been really just kind of focusing on and just kind of key reminding him, like, just follow through, follow through. And I think a lot of the times um, the lack of follow through comes where there's like those edge pressures kind of jumping at his feet or kind of near his feet area where it might kind of, you know, kind of startle him just a little bit right there. Or he just kind of just forgets to do it. And so that's something that we've been kind of keying and locking in on there, Chris. When he's missing to the right, does that Everyone. fall through kind of have? Yeah, if you look that? at it, again, we look at it too, man. So we looked at it. Uh, just from previous past history. Uh, he's always been in the middle of the field, extra point guy. And I want to say all of them, if not maybe one of them, have all been pushed right. Right, so all of them have been pushed right, and that is a as a as a result. If you go back to the previous one, it's a lack of just follow through, um, right there, just not following through, getting his hips all the way through, and uh, coming through with his arm right there. So yeah, so that's yeah. So at least it's you know he isn't spraying it left or spraying it you know one way or the other. At least he's consistently missing it one way, and so we're able to kind of self correct that. How good or bad are you at handling the emotions of a game like that? Uh, I'm pretty even kill for the most part, Alec. I would say, um, like, I'm just, I'm just right there neutral for the most part. I don't get too high, I don't get too low. I just kind of pretty stay. If you look at me on the sideline, if the TV ever's on me, I'm pretty just 
stale face for the most part. Like JJ's incredible catch, I was kind of like, mm, nice, nice. You know, he still got a lot more, a lot more game to play. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's that's just kind of how the game go, the highs and lows. It's, it's an emotional roller coaster. You know, we talk about it all the time. You know, uh, like for instance, Chris Boyd is probably a guy, and Josh Mattel is where we always say like they get emotionally hijacked. Right, and so they just kind of lose their emotions, and you just don't know where this guy goes at times. But you know, that guy just got emotionally hijacked, and so you know, that's all part of the game, though. And, and guys, it's an emotional game, and so we always kind of tell guys just to stay neutral, stay neutral, because it always is a roller coaster. No, he's the opponent this week, but how much do you, do you keep up with Bones, and how much are you looking forward to going up? Ah, against him this Bones, week? so yeah, me and Bones, we check in all the time with one another, so we still communicate. I mean, Bones is like a mentor to me. He's, Taught me everything I know. He's gave me all the ins and the outs. I think the most important thing is he's, he he taught me, you know, painstaking attention to detail and, and how to truly prepare. But not only that, but how to watch tape. Um, you know, how how do you key and diagnose certain things, or how are you able to pick up on little tidbits? And so, you know, I'm looking forward to this one right here. Um, you know, me and Bones are always in constant communication. But you know, it's just another it's another game. I treat it like another game. But you know, is it a little little bit added? You know, a little bit added uh, thing there. But, for uh, really the players. The players are more so excited than I am, quite honestly. So uh, it'll be a good one, though. It's going to be a good one going up against a good unit. Uh, elite returning, Cavante Turpin, who's spooky back there. Uh, so it's going to be good, you know, really focused with Mr. Wright on making sure he's putting that ball good hang distance. But most important part is the direction, uh, really trying to focus on his direction this week. You got any, you got any uh, nicknames that you haven't publicized yet? <laughs> Uh, I'm sure it's it's a handful of my there for sure, Chris. But nah, nah, not, yet? nah, not till you know maybe somebody make a play something like that. I'll, I'll holler it out. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Thanks, everyone. All right, appreciate y'all.